Good evening, guys. Welcome to AZ, AZ Long Tail. Good evening, guys. We're gonna work on the boat. We're, we're back on the boat. How are you guys doing? Good evening, my friends. Welcome to AZ Long Tails. I'm David. On today's project, I'm looking to build a grab bar. So when I'm on the boat, they can hold on and then steer right here and, and be a little bit more secure on the water. The sign I've been thinking about is doing one inch tubing, 480 degrees, so it'll be a grab handle. I already measured it to my height. This is going to be 180 degrees, this is going to be 45 degrees, so it would be at this angle rather than straight up and down. Then I'll mount it to the boat and on the next boating trip, we'll see how, how I handle it. So I already did some measurements. The total height I want is for it to be 34 inches. These are our nice cheaters for the JD square tube bender. You make one for each thickness and diameter of tubing. A tool that's nice to have because for 180 degrees, you eat up length of tube as you bend it. So I already have marked a different degree and then how much of tubing is needed to reach that degree. Pretty much consuming 20 inches of tubing. So this is a good tool here. This is the same tool, but just at a 45 degree to help me gauge where a bend should be and you know what looks aesthetically nice on it. The side profile, this is where it will be here. It's got some numbers where I should do the bends, how much tube it eats, 10 inches. The other side is gonna be the other 10, so it's gonna be 20. 45 degrees, I'm gonna eat five inches of tube. And then doing these calculations, this run up, is going to be 31 inches tall. So 31 inches and a half, I'm going to do a 45 degree bend, which should consume five inches. So from that calculation, a 46 and a half would be pretty much half. A 93 inch bar is ideally what I'm going to need to complete this. It's been a while since I've been to, probably going to cut it around 100, 105 maybe, just for that extra play, because it's, it's been a couple months. <laughs> Cut this section to 100 inches. That's an easier number to find the center line, which I marked at 50 inches. That's going to be right at the center of that 180 degree bend. That's going to be the first bend I'm going to do. Give me the baseline of where the rest of the assembly should go. If you're doing one bend on two, it's fairly easy. You don't have to worry about any offsets. When you're doing a second or third bend, that's where you really have to line up or else you could have one bend go away rather than them being parallel. From this mark, I have to consider that 10 inches it's gonna come back, that it's gonna eat away and then come back. So actually from here, I should go 20 inches back. So from here, going up 10 inches from the 50 inch mark, I go down to the 60. This is where I'm gonna start to bend, and that's the 20 inches of material the bend eats. The height is going to be the easiest thing to adjust. This is a JDM squared Model 3 tube bender. This is a one inch tubing, and that's my 10 inch mark. This is my center line mark, and this should be the other 10 inch section. This roller is going to pull, and this is going to start curving around the die. So ideally around this mark, the halfway mark, this should be laying here. And once we do the whole 180 degrees, this should be at this end point. <laughs> You can see right there, that's the halfway mark. So far, my measurements look good. We completed the first bend, 180 degrees. You can see it gives you that U shape, really smooth handle. You can see it's a little bit taller, but like I said, chopping off the legs is gonna be the easy part. Here now would be gauging where I want to do a 45 degree bend. We're gonna have to do two bends, and this is where it gets tricky because both bends have to be on the same axis. Set it up to do the 45 degree bends. I measured it out from the top point down is 10 inches. That's where the bend is going to start, and that bend at 45 degrees is going to consume 5 inches. So this is going to be the hardest part. So this is one bend. Wish me luck on this bend. It looks like I got it at exactly 90 degrees, so that should be parallel on this bend. So I'm satisfied. You know, a real good test would be putting these two down. That's parallel. It's not warped. Ideally, this height, I want it to be 34 inches. I'm surprised myself for being so rusty with the tape measure. This, this is a pretty difficult angle to do. Hopefully, I don't mess it up with the chop saw. This is where I'm measuring the final height. I am going to go 36 inches instead. So I'm going to be doing a cut here from the top of the handle down to here will give me 36 inches. So this right here is very close to the finished product. Got it mounted, cut to size, 36 inch height. The next project is to paint it. Do a mounting option that's removable, but also secure. 
The idea is so it'll be as a grab handle when you're standing up driving. So you got something to hold on if you hit a sandbar or something. You got something to brace yourself with. Fishing wise, it could help as a, a handle or something to lean on when you're leaning a fish. Added security being out of the water. This is day two of building the grab bar. I uh, cleaned it off, sanded it down, and put a coat on it. Keeping it light would also help with the heat in Arizona. But one of the options that we do want to have is for it to be removable. I want it to be sturdy. What I'm going to be utilizing are going to be quick fists. This is going to help hold it down using this in conjunction with the mount. They're really strong. I actually have them utilized holding my uh, paddle down. This side, I already have it mocked up with the uh, U-strap on the top side. Really have more strength on this. Quick fist is going to be more keeping it from popping out. So I do want the U-strap to be on the highest position possible. The corner is going to be the stronger part. If I put it lower, it's going to pull and it's going to have more flex on the same material. I did cut out a strip of additional foam that I had left over. This is also going to help with any metal to metal banging that can happen. I am building a Z style handlebar, which is going to kick up and over. So it's going to be a taller setup. So that one I'll be holding on when I'm standing up. And with this, it will give me more leverage. You know, it does hold weight, so it's more just having some stability when driving. We'll add some foam just to make it a bit tighter. So far, the bolt's coming along. I see you within the next week being out in the water again and testing all these out and seeing if there's any reinforcements we could do. I want to say thank you for watching this episode. I like to get my hands dirty, stuff that I fit to my needs, customized to my liking. But that's the whole point about these boats, that you can customize the engine, paint job just to be unique. Okay, they handle well and they're a lot of fun. So like and subscribe, give us a shout out on Instagram. We're on that every day. Joey will be here soon.